Hello, I am Dr. Shaija Ibrahim, consultant radiologist working with the Department of Diagnostic Imaging JPMC for the last seven years. And this is my colleague, Dr. Anuprita Vadaje. We are here today to talk about breast imaging, the age groups involved, and the different imaging modalities that are available in JPMC. The prime question that comes to our mind is why do we need breast imaging and who is to go for breast imaging? The reason why we need breast imaging is because it has a dual role to play in the symptomatic patient and the asymptomatic patient. The symptomatic patient is one who has symptoms related to the breast either in the form of pain, nipple discharge, a palpable lump or any other abnormalities related to the breast. Now this asymptomatic patient is one who is apparently normal and wants to come for a breast imaging and there may be something occult or hidden in the breast which is then picked up by the breast imaging. Now the age group involved would be we divide it into below 40 and above 40. Now usually for women who are below 40 we would recommend a breast ultrasound as it has no radiation involved and for above 40 we would recommend an x-ray mammography and ultrasound. Now below 40 if there is a woman who has a very strong family history either the mother or the sister who has a breast cancer then we would recommend that the imaging start 10 years less than when the mother or the sister has had a breast cancer. That is, if the mother has had a breast cancer at the age of 50, then the daughter should start the screening mammography at the age of 40, and it should be an X-ray mammogram. X-ray mammography is a modality wherein low dose X-rays of both breasts are taken. Now, two views of each breast are taken, and the radiation dose is roughly twice as that of a chest X-ray. Now, we do not recommend X-ray mammography for women below 40 years unless there is a strong family history, either the mother or the sister has had breast cancer. Now, in X-ray mammography, the importance is that we detect microcalcifications or small white dots, which may be the beginning of a breast cancer. These are usually not felt by the patients and are difficult to detect by other modalities. So this is the earliest sign of some cancers in some patients and that is the reason why X-ray mammography plays an important role and that is why X-ray mammography is still considered the gold standard for early detection of breast cancer. And the prime importance here of breast screening is that we detect breast cancers at an early stage wherein the treatment modalities are better and the survival rates are better. That is the reason we encourage women to come forward for breast screening. And yes, there are some fallacies, there may be some misinterpretations, but we always follow it up with an ultrasound so that the chances of missing are much lower. The role of ultrasound is usually supportive to X-ray mammogram. Uh, in younger patients, as the breast tissue are still dense, many lesions could be small lesions could be obscured using the X-ray mammogram. So ultrasound helps to detect such smaller lesions. Also in younger patients as, and patients below 40 years, where we do not want to uh, irradiate the breast with the X-ray exposure, in such cases ultrasound is useful modality. X-ray mammogram detects the lesion which, is, which are seen only as an opacity. Using the ultrasound, we can differentiate these lesions as solid and cystic lesions. MR mammography is a problem-solving tool and it cannot be used as a routine screening method as it is time-consuming and expensive. But its importance lies in those patients in which we cannot come to an adequate diagnosis only with X-ray mammography or ultrasound or in the young patient in whom the interpretation of results is difficult on an X-ray mammography. 
So that is the importance of MR mammography and the imaging modalities that we have in JPMC are X-ray mammography, ultrasound mammography and MRI mammography. We encourage patients to come forward to do a breast imaging and the optimum interpretation of results will be when there is optimum communication between the patient, radiologist and the referring physician if any. We encourage you all to come forward and to contact JPMC DDI reception.